A Detroit police officer admits the car wasn't going very fast when he decided to shoot the driver. Do you have any reason to disagree with that average speed? No, no, no. Drive or was operable by having someone place their foot on it. Officer Matthews, Matthew Rhodes testified he feared that car would crash, and that's why he shot Luke Stewart four times. It's a case the News 5 investigators have covered since 2017. Sarah Buttison is in the newsroom tonight. Sarah, today was the third time Rhodes took the stand. That's right, Rob, and it is the final time he's expected to testify in his civil trial. Stewart's mother sued Officer Rhodes for wrongful death, alleging his actions were, quote, reckless when he took her son's life. It all started in the early morning hours of March 13, 2017. Officer Matthew Rhodes and his partner responded to a call about a suspicious vehicle. Inside, they found 23-year-old Luke Stewart asleep. Rhodes climbed in to pull Stewart out. Stewart woke up and started driving. Officer Rhodes still inside. When Stewart didn't stop, even after being tased and hit, Rhodes said he feared the car would crash. Now I'm seeing the telephone poles. That threat is very real. I thought we were going to hit a pole. He opened fire, but an attorney for Stewart's family said the car's average speed was just 13.9 miles an hour because Rhodes had shifted it into neutral. Seeing that mathematical equation, do you have any reason to believe that that wouldn't have been the average speed that you're traveling in the car with Luke? The average speed over the distance, yes. Euclid Police Captain Mitch Hauser also testified today. He's in charge of training Rhodes received. He said he signed off on this as the cover of the defensive tactics policy a cartoon of an officer beating an unarmed person with a baton. The caption, protecting and serving the poop out of you. You approved that? I did. Why? Uh, I felt that it was an attempt at humor and satire. Uh, it's a very serious subject matter, and I felt that beginning the training with a, a little bit of a lightheartedness might uh, ease the training day. We've showed you that image before in our 2018 report on Euclid's use of force. Our investigation identified 13 officers who were responsible for the vast majority of the city's use of force incidents. One of the names on the list? Matthew Rhodes. He reported 14 uses of force during the two and a half year time period we reviewed. Euclid police promoted Rhodes to sergeant earlier this year, and it is important to note a Cuyahoga County grand jury declined to press criminal charges against Rhodes. A federal case was also dismissed. There is no court tomorrow. The case is expected to wrap up and go to the jury Monday. In the newsroom, I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison.